In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use Google Classroom for communicating between teachers and organizing school meetings. So let's go to Google Classroom. And we have a class created, Teacher Communication. So as you can see, I've already added something to the stream. Here's the class code. And now what we're going to do in order to add teachers rather than students so that everyone can add to this discussion is go to the teachers section under the people tab, press add, and then type in the name or emails of all the teachers that you want to add to this forum. So once the teachers are added, then you can go to classwork and then add files, assignment, quiz assignments, questions, so let's add a question. And then this um, allows you to add a bunch of different topics of discussion. So you could say something like Now since you're just discussing between teachers, of course you don't really need points, but it might help to add a due date. So let's say the meeting is next Monday. So we're going to add the due date as Monday. And then We'll make it so everyone can edit this and reply to each other, but since everyone's a teacher, they already have this ability. And then we can add attachments, something from our drive, YouTube, or URL. And now we'll press ask. Also, what's so nice about, so now as you see, we can add a topic. But what's so nice about this is that we can add stuff to the Google Calendar, like if we want to add a meeting, we just press on Google Calendar and then we add something like the day, let's say we have a meeting tomorrow. I double clicked on it, now meeting, save. So now everyone knows from 10.30 to 11.30, tomorrow we have a meeting and everyone in the classroom can see this. Now if we go back, another thing that you'll see under the classwork section is a class drive folder. So what's so nice about this is that teachers can open up this folder and then add a bunch of material to this class drive. So if you have anything for the meeting or any assignments or something you want to share that you want teachers' opinions, then drop the file from your desktop onto here, for example. And now it will be saved onto this class drive for everyone in the class to see. And then, of course, the stream function is always really nice because all you need to do is share something here and then everyone can communicate and respond to whatever you said. Creating a big stream of discussion on this page. Also, you can see that um, the upcoming question that we put in the class word section is now here. So do Monday and people go, oh, what is this? Press on it and then they can see. So overall, Google Classroom is a really good way to add files and then start conversations that have a feed of information that people can look back on. So it's overall a good way for communicating. And if you just want to have meetings on here, like pose a question about something, like um, you can do that instead of having to actually meet up. And then it can be a prolonged discussion between individuals. So that is why Google Classroom makes a really good forum for um, teacher and school communication.